So you're out in the shop, you're getting ready to work on your next next project, and you realize at some point that you need to change some dimensions on it. Okay. So let's say for example that you start off with three and seven sixteenths and you need to add three quarters of an inch to it. Okay? Now, if you remember back to elementary middle school, you'll remember that to add fractions together you need to have a common denominator. Okay? Now remember at the bottom D for down denominator, sixteen and the four, those need to have something in common. In this case it'll be the sixteen. Okay? So let's just forget about the three for right now and let's focus on the seven sixteenths and the three quarter. Well, to add these together, again, they have to have the same denominator, all right? So we'll change this one up to 16, and we'll just leave this one exactly where it is. So 7 sixteenths plus 12 sixteenths. Add that together, and we get 19 sixteenths, okay? So that's going to be your new dimension plus the uh, original 3 inches from up at the top. Now, the problem with that is that this is an improper fraction. All right, so <clears throat> to change those, we're gonna be doing 16 into 19. 16 goes into 19 one time, 16 times one is 16. Subtract, and then you have three. Now, you've got, once you get this here, you're gonna take that and you're gonna convert it to one and three sixteenths. Add that to your original three up here, and you're going to get four and three sixteenths. Okay, that is your answer. Pretty simple, right? Yeah, no, not really. Let me show you a faster, easier way to do it. Now, it's not going to work with all fractions, but if you're out in the shop, this is really, really good shop math. Okay, I'm going to take the same exact dimensions. Zoom in a little bit, you can see a little better. All right, we have the three and seven sixteenths. And I'll even mark it on there. Let me get real, real close for you. There we go. All right, so we have three. That's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven sixteenths. Right there. All right, right where that little blue tick mark is. Okay. Now we're going to add three quarters of an inch to it. All right. So I'm going to use this little ruler that I've got here. I'm going to mark three quarters of an inch. Okay. Now this one, since it's uh, on this rule, it's reading from right to left. I'll just mark it right here. It's still that three quarters. Okay. Now all you do is you line the two of them up. Okay. Just like that. Hopefully this is clear enough. You can actually see all these. All right. The little tick marks line up right there. And you follow it where the other ruler is, you'll notice that it comes to exactly four and three sixteenths. Okay? No math, nothing crazy. Super, super simple job site math. Okay? Um, obviously, that requires you to have, um, you know, two tape measures or a couple of rulers or something. And again, it's not going to work for every single case. But this can uh, definitely help you out on the job site or in the shop. And uh, I hope that helps.